Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the predictive back gesture which is introduced by Google in Android 13. This is the official guide about predictive back gesture and it is available at developer.android.com. And here in this mockup you can see how actually the predictive back gesture is going to perform, what animation the system is going to play and other than that the predictive back gesture is also allow you to have a sneak peek at the destination of your back gesture. This is Nabil Smile. Welcome back to Liberty App Studio. Without wasting any time, let's implement the predictive back gesture. Here is our simple Android Studio project, which contains a single activity and two fragments. Let me just quickly give you an overview of the project. So here you can see we have single activity which contain the navigation for our fragments and if we have a look at fragment A and B actually first we need to have a look at their layout files in fragment A we have only a single button which can which says move to fragment B and in fragment B we have only a text view which says Liberty App Studio and if we have a look at the fragment A Kotlin file you can see we have just handling the click listener uh, for our button and which will navigate us to fragment B and in fragment B we have our back press handle manually back button or back gesture and that's it nothing else so let's just start enabling the predictive back gesture in current project before actually enabling the predictive back gesture let's let's have a look how the app is currently running. So here it is the app is running without enabling the predictive back gesture. So if you say move to fragment B, it will move to fragment B performing back gesture and if you perform the back gesture again, it will just close the app. No animation, no sneak peek at the home screen. So let's enable the predictive back gesture. First of all, you have to go to your build gradle file and here make sure you are using this dependency Android X activity and the minimum version for the predictive back gesture is 1.6.0 alpha 5 and currently we are using 1.7.0 so we are good. The next step you have to make sure that you are using the API level 33 for your project. As you can see I have compiled SDK 33 and target SDK is also 33. Now you have to go to your manifest file and here you have to type enable on back invoke callback select this flag and set it to true in this way you have just enabled the predictive back gesture support for your app and here you can also see if you hover over it it is also showing you that the enable on back involved callback is only used in ap level 33 as the predictive back gesture is introduced by google in ap level 33 which is android 13 one last step is also there and what is that is actually in your device settings or the emulator whatever you are using just go to the setting of your device and here at the bottom you have to go to developer options and at the so oops and at the very last of developer options you have to enable this predictive back animations toggle so that's it required that's all things actually required to enable the predictive back gesture support and one more thing is actually make sure you are using the gesture navigation instead of button navigation on your phone so actually you can perform the back gesture or not you don't have the soft button here for the back in some devices if you are using the three button navigation so let's run our app again here it is app is running after enabling the predictive back gesture and if you click on the button move to fragment B it will move to fragment B go back and if you perform the back navigation again or back gesture again you can see we have predictive text uh, predictive back actually not text enabled and it is working well and you can see if you perform the gesture completely the app is closed if you run it again and you, here you can see that's how actually the predictive back gesture is working. 
so that's it for current video i hope you like it and understand how actually we can use predictive back gesture in our app which supports android 13 or api level 33 stay tuned thank you so much god bless you if you have any questions you can ask them directly in comment section like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to our official youtube channel i will see you in next video thank you so much